I used to read, like, just for fun, a little bit, but mostly when it was in high school and they were like, pick a random book to read for downtime or whatever. Yeah. And that's typically when I did it. Um, there were a few books that I really loved and actually read a couple times, but... Which ones? Um, if you know them, I'll be very surprised. Um, it's by an author named Will Weaver. And one of them was called Claws. Nope, never heard of it. The other one was called Hardball. Nope. They were very, like, teen-oriented. Yeah. Like, yeah. That style of book. Teen well, honestly, the teen, the teen books are actually kind of fun to read sometimes. Yeah, I always enjoyed them. The uh, Percy Jackson book series, I've actually read all of those. Those are actually very good. They're, they're definitely a teen book. And I wouldn't say that they're, you know, a literary achievement of any kind. But <laughs> if you're just looking for time to kill, Percy Jackson go for it but then again I also am rather biased because I'm a history teacher so anything that involves mythology history I'm totally like I'm there yeah so whoa you found a huge cave over there it's all right I went the other way and found sand well, like we should have a, a sand forever box now no there's no need for that <laughs> yes, there is. No, there's not. Found some copper. You need there. you need the sand. No. Let me mine this. I wish we could run into an underground jungle. It'd be nice. It would be very nice. Torch me over here. Do you not have torches? I've got a few, but not many. Fine. I'm basically working my way up to that silver and then up to that small, whatchamacallit, inside of there. Okay. I'm going to keep pushing this way, see what we find. All right. I think we're doing feels so much more organized than last time. I think it's because we we got a little practice last time, unlike how to mine and how to make things and <laughs> how to not die. <laughs> Although I've been doing a very poor job of that this time around. <laughs> no thanks to you. Actually, it was all your fault. But incoming right. worm thing. Come here, Wormy. I dare you. No. Come to Papa. <laughs> you just start running frantically back and forth, swinging your pick like, oh god. <laughs> Seems to be working. He's not hitting me. It's not working. Oh, I'm killing him, really, but. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was getting entertaining. Okay, I see some blink root down there, so I guess I'll work towards that. Unless I know there's a cave. Hmm, some water. And the sand. Wow, that worked out really well. Did you play this first, or did you play Minecraft first? Minecraft. Okay. Um, the first time I played this game, we seriously played all night for like 
it was basically the same situation as with Minecraft. Like the first mm -hmm. time I played Minecraft, we seriously played for like 14 hours straight, and we're just so dead the next morning. It was ridiculous. And the funny thing is, is we weren't even landing. Like they multiplayer wasn't even really existent yet on Minecraft when I started playing it. Huh? Because we were playing in like early, early alpha, and yeah. Wow. So we are just in the same room playing on separate computers. But it kind of has that mass appeal to it, I would think. Yeah. Like, you can find things that other people haven't found, and you're like, oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, and we just sort of, like, look at each other's screen occasionally, like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. That's why I say, I think Minecraft is much more of a creative game, so you can do it yourself. Yeah. And it's still good. It's like artwork, almost. It's not nearly yeah. as good as when you do it with someone else because well of course not like our work together on the castle is such a great is collaborative experience and insane like yeah. <laughs> no sane people like you know would ever do something that large and continue on working on it <laughs> after they realize that oh my gosh this is taking forever <laughs> um, it's totally worth every bit I just found a random goblin statue I love it and it's going mean? on top of our house Oh, wow. That's convenient. I tore it down because it's Aest awesome. Aesthetics are excellent, you feng shui monster, you. Hello. Hello. I once again went the wrong way. Because <laughs> there's nothing over there. Lots of stuff over here. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> Is it peanut butter jelly time? Yes. Excellent. Assuming we keep peanut butter and jelly in jars. Because there's a lot of jars. Go away, red slime. Go away. Shoot. Shoot. Ooh, crit that bitch. Crit him. Critting all over his face. Ow. Ow. Goldfish. Giggity giggity goldfish. Ow. Don't you die Ow. on me. You okay? No. Want a potion? No. No? Fine. I want your pity. It's not, it's not pity, it's love. Love and affection. I love your method of placement. <laughs> Swing your arms frantically. Things work. <laughs> It'll come out eventually. That's how this works. <laughs> I love how you're mining and I run into the middle of it and swing a big spear at the wall. <laughs> Whack. Here, let me show you how to do that. I will get through. There's another red ooze. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Cross this water. I dare you. He's right across the water. There we go. Problem solved. Whee! Let me go up. You go down. Okay. Have fun. I will once again discover that I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> and then you will follow me shortly after. Yes. Ooh, that's a pretty big cave. I like it. Yes, it is. Ba -da -bum -bum -bum. I love the music in this game. I was just going to say the same thing. Like, the music in this one is, I think, a little bit more uh, upbeat. It's highly repetitive, but it's the type of repetitive that isn't annoying repetitive. Yeah, it's very difficult to get bothered by it. So. Yeah. 
which is very difficult to make music like that. Like most of the time, repetitive music will eventually put you into the state of like, Dah. Shut up! <laughs> like you just feel like everything's mashing together, and then... Yeah. I think I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I am... I, I still believe that the biggest part, or at least one of the biggest parts of video games, is the music. Like, if you, you can make the best video game of all time, and it still wouldn't be all that amazing, unless you had memorable music to go along with it. I mean, you think about all the greats, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to name just a few. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, both of them had amazing music. Um, Metal Gear Solid, and I have not played Metal Gear Solid, but I know the music from Metal Gear Solid because it has amazing music. It's like, if you think about any major title that is worth knowing, the music in it is what makes it. It's what you remember about it. Yeah. I mean, and, like, I haven't played Chrono Trigger, but the music yep, was spectacular music. in it. Music for Chrono Trigger is probably one of the most memorable things that I have played. It's amazing. It's awesome. I actually did homework many, many, many times, many, many nights to just the soundtrack to Chrono Trigger. And maybe I'm weird. Correct. I know I'm weird. I think that's but, awesome. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Amazing soundtrack. I never beat that game. You should beat that game. It is Oh, oh, that is probably top three games of, of my lifetime. No oh, crap. Okay, thank God. Slime slimes only have like two jump distances, and until they figure out the perfect way to balance it, they can't get down holes. They just, <laughs> they just keep jumping over it, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Oh, I hate the new heal cooldown in this game. <laughs> it's annoying. You used to be able to spam heal potions so much, and it was excellent. Yeah. I just load up one tons of them, like, gop, 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 gop. How's it going on your side? Uh, I'm already back at the house. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna do the same actually. Ooh, I see some silver. I'm hearing a weird sound. I don't know what that is, but it's not something burning, so I'm not too concerned. You should join the green party. I should. As soon as I mine the silver. Okay, I have added my uh, two cents to the box of goodies. So I have some goals that I want us to accomplish during this playthrough. Oh, what's that? I want us, because obviously Minecraft is pretty much nothing but building for us anymore. Yes. All, all we do is reveal changes that we made to the castle, and that's about it. So this is going to be our adventure playthrough for the viewers. You think so? I, th I think it should be, because we can't really build anything too amazing in this. No, I agree. I mean, yeah, you can build things that are pretty cool looking, but at the same time, they don't, you can't do too much. So what I'm thinking our goal for this one should be is I would like to find the underground jungle. The underground jungle? Yes. Any of the underground jungles. I'm not sure how many this world has, but regardless, I would like to find it. Okay. Um, on top of that, I would like to... Find a floating island. Oh, I've not actually seen those yet. So it'll be an adventure for me too. Yeah, I'd like to find that. And in the end, 
I would also like for us to spawn some boss monsters, of course. Okay. That's always interesting for viewers. And... Aren't there dungeons? Yes, there is a dungeon. Sometimes more than one if you get a large world, but I don't think there's more than one in mediums. And on top of that, I would like for us to beat Skeletron. Who's Skeletron? The guard of the dungeon. Oh. Yes. Okay. I don't know what half of that stuff means, but it sounds cool and fun and dangerous. Yep. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Excellent. I have a copper helmet. We're like Kesha. We're going to be hot and dangerous. No. I knew that was coming. You shoot down all my ideas. Well, when it's Kesha, I should. <laughs> Shh. Did you go back up yes. to the house, the direction that you went opposite of me? No, you did not, because this is not lit up at all. But I do see grass. It's got to be close to the top. Environmentalist. Shut up. <laughs> like I said, so much love. <laughs> oh no. dark out. Yes. Fuck. Then I have chosen the wrong route. How dark he out? He chose poorly. Uh, it just turned. <sighs> of course. Eh, forget it. I'll get back the other way then. Stupid slime. I'm too fast for you. Oh god. Oh god. Whew. Did you just hang up on me? No. Oh, okay. That was I want to hang that, up on you. <laughs> that was Andrew then. I was in a call before I answered yours, and oh. I just kind of left without saying anything. Oh. Yeah. You're a jerk. Eh. He wasn't talking anyway. <laughs> he was playing Skyrim. And I got angry at Skyrim, so I stopped playing it, so. Oh. Why'd you get angry at Skyrim? Um, I was running on Ultra all night and getting easy 60 frames a second the whole time and had just installed the new texture pack, the HD texture pack. And then I decided I wanted to install the unofficial Skyrim patch. And upon installing it, I dropped down to like 25 frames a second and couldn't get it to go back up. Mm. Even after uninstalling the mod, so... I don't know. I just got angry and left. <laughs> you say you're, you're not a huge guy for graphics, huh? I don't believe that graphics make the game, but if it is a naturally beautiful game, then I try to max the crap out of it. Hmm. I asked the goblin statue. And it's dark out. Hmm. 
this gigantic tunnel you dug is going to be problematic. Why? Zombies are coming down it. I don't know how. Here, I'll solve it. I mean, it's it's not it's not into the open world. It has one slot open into the open world. Well, one just came down and was about to come into our house. Well, he's a bum. Not to mention, you should put platforms across there. Well, well, Mr. Smarty Pants. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> there are so many demon eyes. I know. <laughs> Endless demon eyes. Excellent. Because I am sick of our picks. I'm sick of your pick. I think I'm sick of you picking on me. On the world. Oh! <laughs> Do you have another iron bar by any chance? An iron bar? I might be able to. Let's see here. Yeah, let me see what all I have left. I have... I think I don't have enough iron to make another one. <gasps> one. One? Yes! Perfect. Alright. I'm going to give you the annoying one, because I'm annoying. And I'll give but, you something to remember me by. What does it do? Why is it annoying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's an annoying pickaxe. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, star. I'm gonna go right out through this door. Hold on. Here, let me go first so that I can use my gigantic spear. Giggity. Yeah, man. Excellent. I'm gonna go in the back door. We are fearless. Oh, no. Oh, crap. You left the door open. Of course. That's what I do. You left the other door open. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I leave the door open. I have one heart left. I'm going to stay inside. <laughs> I'm going to stand here for a second. 